Good evening, good evening, guys. It is your girl, Lady Geek here. Today, we are here to talk about scammers. How do you know if you're finding a legit breeder or you're being scammed? I am here to help you. You are eating my popcorn. Sir, it's my snack. This is Drogon. Say hello to Drogon. He is our future king over here in our cattery. We run a cattery here in Houston, Texas, known as My Geek Tales. You can find us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. If you have any questions about us, we are happy to help you. This um, I will introduce Drogon is a black smoke with blue eyes. We got him all the way from Poland. All of our cats here in our cattery are European. We have Gira that's from Belarus. We have the Navi that's also from Belarus. And then we have him from Poland and our princess Rainis that is from Ufa, Russia. I fell in love with the, the European look. We've been breeding now and running our page for about a year. So we, we are still brand new, but we've done a lot of research. And so I wanted to go ahead and continue to educate people. Mancoons are fairly large especially the male mancoons. You will find some male mancoons that might be a little smaller, but they usually weigh between 15 to 25 pounds. The females usually run between 10 to 15 pounds. It, they take about five years to grow. Some of these mancoons are expensive because most mancoons can actually range from $2,000 all the way to $10,000, depending on the color that you're getting, the shade that you're getting, and a gender. Males usually go for more because they grow a lot larger a lot of people want the large majestic lion walking their home and also polydactyls a lot of the mancoon cats are rocking the poly which is multiple toes on their fingers which is a genetic mutation that a lot of us have loved okay. Continuing on with mancoons do carry some health issues and some of these health issues are hereditary. The mancoon cats are prone to heart issues. Now I'm going to try to say this word, but do not make fun of me. But the heart issue is hyper hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It is a common heart disease. And if the parents have it, most likely the kittens will have it. It is pretty much an enlargement in the heart muscle. This is going to be passed down hereditary. And it's important to know because getting these heart echoes done or getting these heart cardiographic uh, tests done on your kittens can actually be quite expensive for the breeder. So that's why one of the prices go up. You do have to check on those every year to every two years just to make sure that the parents are okay and just look to see if there is any pattern. So if you do want to buy a kitten from them and ask, does the parents have any of these issues? They have the paperwork to go ahead and provide you for that. Mancoons are also prone to hip dysplasia. They will have hip issues in the future if parents have some hip issues. Sometimes it's unavoidable getting those elbow, pelvis, and hip views, x-rays. Those can be quite costly. You know, me being a breeder, we get ours done. For an example here on this receipt, getting her heart echo done and hip x-ray, that is it. That does not count, count the genetic testing that we have to do. That does not count the feline leukemia vaccines that she had to get when she was younger. And just those two tests cost $1,016.90. It is very very expensive to make sure our cats are healthy in top shape. We do all that here in Geek Tales. And of course, we want to make sure that we go ahead and send you guys the healthiest cat of all because we want them to live a long and healthy life. I want my kitties to live a long and healthy life. So I would love to have all these tests and show that my kittens are very, very healthy. So those are the two main reasons as to why the kittens are fairly expensive. You see a mancoon that is very, very cheap. I would say under 2000 dollars chances are that the cat could be sick or there is no cat and you are getting scammed out of your money what most breeders do such as i will go ahead and always ask for a 500 dollars non-refundable contract it could be lower i've seen between 300 to 800 what you do is you secure your kitten so they will not promote and try to sell your kitten and then you have about three months before they're ready to leave mama and pay the rest of the money that's due. That's just how normally things go. Scammers will go ahead and take this and use it against you. It is the biggest scam that's been... The biggest platform that's been dealing with scammers will be Facebook. I've noticed people are making fake pages and groups on Facebook and then asking you guys to follow them and then posting these pictures and then going on from there. These scammers will go in and say that they have kittens for sale. They have these beautiful pictures of kittens and steal these photos, make a whole Facebook page let you know how much it is to get a mancoon and this is why we watermark all of our pictures if you are looking at our page or our videos and sometimes the price could be unbelievable 
the price could be maybe $500 for a mancoon and that's it and they will go ahead and ship it to you some people have been gypped out of $500 to $1,300 and never gotten their future babies or their prize hat that they really wanted the popular most majestic dog friendly water loving feline $100 so how do you know how do you know if this is a scammer or a legit breeder so one thing you can do to find out if this breeder is legit or not is offer a facetime offering a facetime for them means that they have to open up to you on real-time videos you get to see the environment everything so it really puts them in a vulnerable state a lot of breeders are open to allowing you to facetime them especially because we don't typically allow people to come and actually the kids it will stress out the parents FaceTiming is always the best thing to go to. We're always welcome to FaceTime. We're always welcome to show you the kittens, especially the parents, and talk to you on there and to help you out. That is a guarantee. I've never seen a scammer FaceTime or, you know, video chat with an actual person. Ask that question and see what they will do. Two, you can go ahead and check on their page and see when their page is created. You can scroll down. You can check for pictures to see if pictures are usually the same. Style will typically stay the same. If you notice that there's rooms changing, too many times they're outside they're indoor they're on new furniture and all that you can just typically pick up that these might not be all their pictures you know not all of these pictures is in the same household or same area that they are in also ask them are they TICA or CFAA registered pedigrees are generations it's basically a big birth certificate normally when you are breeding you want at least five generations to show that these are all full mancoons and where did they come from and what battery they came from as well pedigrees are important you have to provide those for these companies go ahead so that way they can register your cattery and say this cattery is legit you can go look up to see if they are registered our cattery is cfa registered you can simply ask us are you guys eica registered or are you f registered and we will tell you we are the fa registered so which is the cat franchiser association i'm sorry words are very hard for me my last and final one that i can give you is if you're trying to look for a legit breeder you can ask them who are their vets. They should have no problem giving you the veterinary information of where they go ahead and take care of their cats. Ask a reference. No cattery should be scared to give you the information where they go ahead and take care of their cats because they will go ahead and vouch for you. Those are big signs right there to show that this breeder loves their cats to take care of the cats and they are, they are legit and not scam. So I hope this has helped you. I hope you do do your homework as well to figure out if you are being scammed or is this a legit breedy? If there's anything else that you guys have used to find out if someone is a scammer or not, please comment below. We will love to hear it. So I hope this helps you to find the cattery that you love. If you guys are interested in our babies, you guys are welcome to go ahead and check out again our page or our website. Our website is mygeektails.com. It has all of our prices and information that you need for our babies. We will be posting uh, Queen Navi's babies soon on the website um, or you can check out our socials at Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. They're all my geek tales. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I hope I can educate you guys in the future more uh, on this. And if you guys did like this, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye. You cannot be having this. This is popcorn. You cannot have this. Sir, sir, sir.